just can't wait to be king. Oh, hey, hey, sorry about that. Didn't realize you were there. So, uh, sorry. Hey, I want to talk to you today about keeping yourself ready to close. So, you want to buy a house? You've got the offer in. Now, how do you make sure that you're ready to close when it's time to close? And so, we're going to talk about a few uh, real simple things. We're going to talk to you about your money. We're going to talk to you about your debt. And we're going to talk to you about your job. So, three topics. So, down payment and closing costs. I guess we've got a couple of real simple things that you have to realize. First off, cash equals zero. So if you have cash and you're, get, you're taking out a loan and you have cash that you want to use as a down payment, cash is not king in real estate. Uh, when you're borrowing, they want to see the sources of, of that cash. So uh, you better have a very good explanation for it or you're not going to be able to count it at all. In fact, I had a closing today. The buyer wasn't even able to use the earnest money uh, that they had deposited six weeks ago because they couldn't source out that money properly. So uh, cash equals zero. If you have cash and you're going to use it for a house, get it into a bank account now. Uh, do what we call season it. Have it in there for 30 to 60, 90 day, 60, 30 to 60 days prior to um, closing on the property preferably before you even get pre-qualified. The other thing is separate your funds that you're going to use for down payment and for closing costs. Separate those from your operating funds. The, the daily in and out of a cash account, they start verifying, uh, especially if you're tight, they need to verify every single transaction that's happening in that bank account. Deposits in, withdrawals out. Deposits in, withdrawals out. Money coming from one account and into another account it starts getting complicated. So if you can if you can get your money separated into a special account that's just for your deposit and for your closing costs, do it and then stay away from it. And then the other thing is if you're getting gift funds from family, uh, which is okay on many loan programs, keep it separate from your own funds. Uh, if, you, if you have gift funds that go in and you mix it in with your own funds, and then uh, some of the times gift funds aren't allowed for reserves or some types of closing costs. If you spend your money and go on vacation, well, the last money in the account is always the gift funds. When you mix it up, it's the gift funds go in, they're the last funds to come back out of the account and you cannot use the gift funds for certain things. So keep your, your gift funds separate from your regular uh, closing costs and down payment funds and from your own personal operating funds. Okay. The other thing we want to talk about is debt. Don't go buy a new car. You bought what? Do not buy a new car. Don't go buy a new car. Don't go buy new furniture. Don't charge a vacation. Don't do anything unless you've talked with your lender or your realtor. And uh, so just really watch your finances close. If you, uh, if you go buy furniture for your new house and you buy it the day before you close and they do a soft credit pull the next day and they see uh, some credit inquiry happening, maybe you open up a charge card so you can get that 10% off on your new furniture, guess what? You may not qualify anymore. So don't buy cars, don't buy furniture, don't charge up your credit cards, don't use it to save your cash for closing because you might create a new debt obligation with that minimum payment due. So stay away from new debt. The other thing is don't change jobs. When you're, uh, when you're getting close to closing, we don't want to be uh, changing our job. We don't want to be quitting our second job. Uh, and we, we don't want to stop making payments on other debt obligations that we have and and don't retire if you say uh, they have to do an employment verification and say you've already got the house all picked out and you decide hey once you move in once you get into the house you're going to go ahead and retire well you decide to do it a month early if when they do their employment verification they're going to ask are you are you going to be working there for the next year and if the indications are that you've put in for your retirement in 10 months time guess what you no longer qualify to, to buy. So don't be changing your job. Don't quit 
your second job uh, and don't retire when you're in the middle of the buying process. Okay, so that summarizes my do's and don'ts when buying a home. Uh, you know, I guess to summarize, keep your funds separated as much as you can. Uh, don't be moving money in and out. Do keep it separated. Uh, don't be changing jobs. Don't be quitting jobs. Don't be doing anything with your employment status without talking to your lender during the process. Uh, don't take on any new debt. New debt creates new debt obligation. Maybe you're no longer qualified. So I hope that helped. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and mark that you like it and subscribe to my, my YouTube channel. Okay, thanks. We'll see you again.